So what's on the menu in the pub tonight then? Absolutely everything you could quite imagine. What is there? Well, I haven't got the proper menu. I've only you got read a it out? homemade soup of the day with crusty bread, Thai style popcorn chicken, crispy gyoza dumpling, crab and <laughs> cotton crab fish cakes, <laughs> goat's cheese and honey creme brulee, or buffalo chicken wings are the starters. What would you like, Tilly, in the pub? She wants sticky toffee pudding, chocolate brownie, banoffee pie, wow. treacle tart, millionaire's cheesecake, cheese and biscuits, vegan ice cream. Lots to choose from then at this little park up. What's the pub called? It's called the Castle at Bodium. The Castle Inn, Roberts Bridge. Yeah, so should be good to try this out. And you're allowed to stay in the car park if you eat in the restaurant, which is nice. Yeah. So food served all day, every day, from 12 till 9 and 12 till 8 on Sundays. Tell me what you up to. Are you making your bed? Are you? Are you hot? It's been sunny this afternoon, hasn't it? Do you like it in the motorhome? Are you staying in the motorhome with mummy and daddy this weekend? And we will take you with us in the restaurant a bit later if we're allowed to and yep, show we'll you what in in a minute. food we have and if yep. it's nice and whatever. And what it's like and what the pub's like. It looks quite a nice little country pub. Yeah. Um, there's a big area out the back that you can walk your dogs, big recreation ground. There's a river that's got dog walks and stuff down it. So, yeah, not a bad little place for and a stopover. And you've had the drone up already? Yep, we've had the drone up because it's been quite pleasant. Had a quick look at the castle by drone, which I will show you a bit later. Yeah, to start again, you have to turn it off, don't you? You're going to have to turn it off because you can just cut that bit out, can't you? Oh, you just what? cut it like <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> in the park up for tonight um, lovely food yeah nice little place directly opposite Bodium Castle entrance that's the entrance there. to the castle over there and we've eaten in the uh, bar the food was really nice we'll put up some pictures, some of, pictures that. of that and uh, there we are parked down the end there yeah, yeah. The there we go nice little pub step over oh she wants to see that baby over there Oh look, there's another bee jump here. Yeah. How do I get her around that way? You just have to walk across there. No, it's not bee jump though. Yeah. More so. full up now. That was an early dinner and nice dinner. I yeah. had pudding as well, which I don't normally have. So, but oh. pie, my favourite, was really nice. And you had cheese and biscuits. Yeah, definitely recommend this if you, there's a little pub stopover. 
Until he had some cheese too. Until he had cheese with my <laughs> cheese and biscuits. So very good. See you tomorrow and see where we end up. Morning everyone. Morning. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. We had a nice sleep at the pub stop over, didn't we? Yeah, very peaceful, apart from the tweeting birds this morning. <laughs> yeah, they were a bit loud. And now we're just moving on to a beach park up for tonight. So something a bit different to see what that's all about. And we'll let you know when we get there. It's nice and sunny for a change and it's not raining, thank goodness. We've had so much rain since we've been back from Europe. <laughs> yes, just a bit. So just going through um, an area in East Sussex um, onto Dungeness. Dungeness. Dungeness, where the big power station is. And yeah, it's very pretty countryside but the roads are not like Europe and Ashley is getting very annoyed today with these potholes. There's a brewery That's a there and a campsite that you can stay over. CL site. CL site actually yeah that one is which is quite nice we've stayed there in the past. So we're on at Dungeness and we've decided to go on the Romney Hive and Dimchurch Railway. So we take you along with us. Yeah, and a little too. And Tilly going there. We've just missed the, this train so we have to get the next one in there. But it'll give us a chance to do some video in. There's Dave parked up next to another one. And look, here you see Dave in the background. 
Tilly, we're waiting for the train. Oh, really? Oh, good girl. Where's Daddy Park? Is he going to get a coffee? Hi. Tilsy, you in the train? We're going on a little choo-choo train, aren't we? It's a really small little one, isn't it? Really small steam railway. Yeah. Um, I think it was started at about 1937. And we're going to be getting off at um, is it from, uh, New, New Romney. Romney? New Romney, where we might see some other. Have a look around the engine sheds. Yeah, the and engine that. sheds and stuff. So we'll pick you up when we get there. Here we are at New Romney Station. Tunnel. There's a tunnel under the road. This is the halfway point. Um, we're not doing the whole thing today. But. Here we are. New Romney, Town Toby, Engine Toby, Engine Kids. In here, it's about the story of the Romney Harbin Dean Church Railway. It is a 15 inch gauge railway.
Bromley Iverdean Church Railway opened in 1927 as the smallest public railway in the world and operated continuously with original infrastructure and locomotives ever since. Dungeness, Romney Sands, New Romney, Romney Warren, St Mary's Bay, Dinchurch. Hi. <laughs> I nearly missed that one. Wow. It's a shop. Waiting for the next train. Did he? Are you waiting for the next train? Oh, me. <laughs> Let's have a look over here. So, are you enjoying your trip? Yeah. On the yeah. Lumley Hive and Dimchurch Railway. Now we're going back towards the motorhome again. Yeah, back to Dungeness. We find our park up for the night. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, we found a free car park. Or well, it's free after six o'clock. Yeah. That you're allowed to stay overnight in. Right near the beach. Right on the beach. Oh, yeah, on the beach. So, we're going to go there and stay and the I'm night there. I'm going to make chilli for dinner. Yep. Yeah. You're going to make chilli for dinner and I'm going to. Relax. Do some editing. Yeah, no doubt, do some editing. <laughs> so we can get a video out as we haven't put one out for a couple of weeks. So So we we'll see you when we get to the park up. Yeah. I think we are just leaving the station. Yeah, off we go. stuck a couple of hours on um, and then it's free for the night. Dave's there and she's just sorting out the night at home and then I'm gonna cook a chili for dinner. Um, we had a nice afternoon at the Romney Hive and Dean Church Railway. So there you go all plenty of spaces and otherwise all down there. Um, there's also toilets which I think they close. I'm not sure what time they shut the toilets, but they're open obviously during the day. Disabled toilets as well. Bins, which is handy. It's a nice sunny day today. A little bit of breeze, I'm a bit windy. But yeah, it's lovely.
nice to have a walk by so you don't have to walk over all the stones as it's such a long stretch to the beach here from the car park but yeah lovely for the way free night last night was the pub car park park up which we had to eat in the restaurant so that wasn't too bad so yeah it's nice to have a free one tonight and stay up there in the distance and, and then we can have chilly tonight it's a nice easy one nice easy one to make in the motorhome what do you guys make in the motorhome um, I must admit I don't do a lot of cooking but when I do cook it's an easy one <laughs> right catch you later dinner is served it is so good morning um, I'm still at the park up on the lead seafront um, there was a few vans here last night um, bit different weather today raining windy so we're not going to stay here much longer I don't think um, but I just thought I'd show you what we've found this morning when we took a dog for a walk there was about five six vans here last night um, two of them have gone now one motorhome turned up about half past seven last night um, I'm parked here on the hatch zigzag lines so there's parking all over here all down here all over there there we are and they parked here put their awning out and started to have a barbecue which we were like okay fair enough each to their own if they want to do that when we took the dog for a walk this morning they'd already gone already left whether they i think they left late last night when it started raining and the wind got up probably took their awning off um and we found the remains of their barbecue just left here a knife a wheel all the rubbish from their barbecue obviously it was brand new charcoal just disgraceful also their tongs here and they've just left this all for everyone else to clear up and then people wonder why we're not allowed to park anywhere in the UK in car parks. Personally, I find this very disrespectful and quite upsetting that this is what people are like. But obviously each to their own. Everyone else who's parked here has left no rubbish at all. Like you'd expect. There's bins here. Literally, there's a bin less than 25 metres away from where they've left the barbecue and all the charcoal and all their rubbish. So they could have at least put the barbecue in that in there, tip the charcoal out if it was still hot onto the beach or on, just onto the side or whatever, I don't know. But to leave rubbish like that, I will be clearing it up before I leave. But just thought I'd show you why, what some people are like and why it's getting harder and harder to find park-ups in the UK without going onto campsites. Anyway, I'm going back in the dry now. Finish editing another video. See you soon. Unfortunately, today's weather is not like yesterday's. Yesterday was absolutely glorious and the view from here yesterday was, if any of you saw my Instagram post, were beautiful sunshine, but today, we have rain, we can't have it always. So we are spending time in the motorhome doing some editing. There's Ashley there, he's just editing a different video. Um, and yeah, we're just, uh, I'm catching up on a bit of TV. Tilly is sleeping after her dog walk, which she got very wet. And yeah, we're gonna think about some lunch soon. We had late breakfast, so I need to do the washing up, tidy up the kitchen and then we will head home for some work tomorrow and then i think we might go out next weekend in but we're not sure because i think in a couple of weekends time is that right we've got the two weeks time two weeks time is the camper van 
camper van camp out at the South of England showgrounds. Uh, oh, Arden Line. Well, yeah. Um, lots of live bands, stalls, food, yeah, so. talks and stuff. So yeah, we're going for, for three days for that. Just up the road from us, so nice to have a local show. And we hope that you'll be coming along too and we'll see a few YouTubers there as well as friends. Okay, speak to you later. Have a good day everyone. Hello. Hello. So, <laughs> what did you think of our park ups for the weekend? Now we're on the way home. Yeah, both very good. The first one obviously you had to eat in the restaurant of the pub. But that was a nice quiet park up. Yeah, very nice food. A bit expensive maybe, but yeah. you'd still spend £30, £40 on a campsite and then you'd still have to eat, so yeah. And the second one, the beach free one, which was great. Um, only free at night though. Only free at night, yeah. You have to pay up till six o'clock and then from eight o'clock in the morning, but that's the, I think it was £1.50 an hour no, or something so like that. So it's not too bad. We were only there two hours yesterday evening before six and then a couple of hours today. So and now we're on um, Hastings Seafront. The, the sun is coming out again now. Rain has stopped. We had high winds last night, a lot yeah. of rain last night, rain all this morning. But it's good to see the sun coming out, but where we live, it's always sunny. <laughs> Yesterday was lovely though, we had yeah. really good. So all in all for a weekend, two night stopover, wasn't too bad at all, was no, it? No, nice, yeah. First um, time we've actually been away the in the UK in our motorhome, as we only bought it before just, we before, went to just before Christmas, and then yeah. we went straight to Europe in it, so. Yeah. Where did you all go at the weekend? Yeah, let us know, drop we us a comment. Yeah, drop us a comment, let us know. And of any park ups that you know of that are really good. Yeah. Doesn't matter about the area. Just uh, yeah. let us know. Yeah, we'll, 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 we will go anywhere. Yeah, it's always good to have them anyway. Yeah. Write them in the book and whatever. So, yeah. Different places to go. So, so hopefully you... we see some of you at the, uh, the camp show. Van camp out. Yeah. At Arden Lai. So, right. We'll if you liked... catch you then. Yeah. If you've liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And we could do with some subscribers. So... Yep, please. If you want to see what else we get up to, please subscribe. And I've also got another video coming out of me fixing a leak on our gearbox. And you plan to do more maintenance? And I plan to do ones. a few more maintenance. I've got, got extra solar to fit, solar controllers, um, USB sockets and things. So also, Tune into that if you need to uh, <laughs> any extras see if anything for your vans, is happening yeah. Yeah, that you've got to do on your vans. That would be good. Yeah. So we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.